Hello Cups babies. If your birthday is from May 17th to May 23rd, this is called a Cusp General Love Reading for Taurus and Gemini. May 17th through May 23rd. I'm Phoenix Rising and if you're new, um, welcome. Thanks for watching my channel. You can click like, subscribe, and if you're uh, returning and you're either a Taurus or a Gemini, and this is between those dates, that's why I did it. I'm going to try to do it for each zodiac sign, for each month, you know, the cuss babies, because I know it's hard to find <clears throat> um, a zodiac reading for those particular days. So I'm trying something new. We'll see how it goes. It's for single and couples because I don't know how it's going to go. So take it as it resonates, throw the rest away. Um, and if it gets a certain amount of views, then I'll split it up going forward and I'll do, um, couples and then I'll do, uh, singles. So, but until then, let's just, you guys were the first ones because it's actually around this time now. So I figured as a birthday present, I'll do your reading first for cups. Okay. All right. So let's jump right into it. I did a six card spread. Um, the seventh card, Jermaine Messages. And then I did your three cards um, for your soulmate reading. So, um, and like I said, it's for couples and for singles. Takes it, take it as it resonates. And then we'll just go from here if this works out. <clears throat> you got the seven of um, wands. And this is like someone taking um, a defensive position. Um, this is like a success against opponent won't back down it's like reaching a period of conflict it says you can overcome it this is like making efforts uh this is engaging in arguments um bag off this is like keep your distance someone not wanting you like really close up like in their face like defensive could be a fire sign leo sagittarius or a aries Oh, y'all, some more. For your next card, you got the King of Pentacles. Um, this is like a steady leadership. This is uh, trustworthy. This could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Stiff, intellect, very logical. Uh, won't flex, won't bend. Set in ways. It's like a tree. A tree can't be in. Don't move. The This man's main concern can be money and not love. Career is like the main thing. Money, growth, romance is on the back burner. It could be someone you're dating, someone you're married to. It could be you. Then you got these six of uh wands this is like um good news after struggling and plans this is riding high victory self-centered pride this is like making um making them feel this is definitely you making your partner feel confident um like stroking the ego this could, like i said be a fire sign it's like no consideration for you though Your next card is the Hierophant, and it is in reverse. This is vulnerable, bad advice, conventional method. This is wedding won't happen. Different approach. This could be like thinking outside the box. Uh, going forward, this is impulsive behavior. A crazy way of thinking, radical. This is also like picking apart religion. Picking certain things in a religion that only, like not the whole thing only using it for you, to a person's advantage, either you or your mate, or someone you're dating, depends on, you know, general life. Your next card, you got the Knight of Pentacles. It is upright. This is steady leadership. This is uh, trustworthy. This is someone who takes his sweet-ass time <laughs> 
Like getting to know you, taking their time, dragging their feet. They're not going to just jump into a relationship. They're very patient, not a risk taker. This is no change, no new ideas. It might even feel like you're being stringed along. Like, I don't know. This is like no wondering eyes. This person is very loyal. Slow moving and stubborn, though. This could be an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Your next card is Ace of Pentacles. Um, beginning of materials. This is like confront games. Could be a potential partner. This, uh, partner. this is commitment efforts to make solid. Feels like you can grow into something special. Feels like it could be something special with someone. Efforts to make grow. Not fair, though. You, you know, you want to make it grow, but it's like no efforts on their behalf. <clears throat> For your main message card, Cups, Taurus, Gemini, you have the Nine of Pentacles. It's in reverse. This is loss of friendship. This is like caution, fake foundation, built on lies. This is deception. This is poor managing the money. This could be you or your spouse or potential partner. Spending money on stupid shit. This is someone who makes their money off of crime. This could be a, a drug dealer. Uh, you know, dope boy. Depends. Okay. It's just cautioning you in case you didn't know. And for your... Um, For your uh, soulmate reading, your first card is, it is safe for you to love, open your heart, and give and receive the highest uh, energy of all. This is for past. So that's kind of what you did. It was like, uh, you felt like it was safe. You put your all into it. You jump, you're jumping into it. You ready. You're like, okay, it's safe. I can do it. <coughs> This call, card cautions you to release your ex. It's time for you. Um, wait, the time has come to clear that energy. People can sense it on your aura. Something about you reminiscing about the past. Maybe you're thinking about your ex. Or maybe they're coming back. But it's saying it's time to release them. And for your last card for future, you have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Which is probably this Knight of Pentacles. Or this, um, you got the Knight and, so you know what? You got a whole bunch of Earth signs in different age brackets because you got the, um, let me show y'all. It's a whole bunch of Earth sign energy. You not only got the Knight, you got the King. The Knight and the King. So. It could be either one. It could be, you know, for all age brackets of, of the earth signs is what I'm picking up. And also, um, fire signs too. So, but this was your general love read. I was just trying something new to see if you guys liked it. You can click like, subscribe. You can come back and see me. Um, and this is good for 30 days. This is for only Taurus Geminis. This is from May 17th through May 23rd. General love read, whether you're single in a relationship, whatever. It doesn't matter. We're going to just try it and see uh, how you guys like it. So, thank you guys. Click like, subscribe, come back and see me. I'm Phoenix Rising. Thanks. Bye-bye.